The book intends to highlight what specific virtues Filipinos today live as a result of what they have inherited from their parents and from their grandparents and to make sure that these virtues which are already enshrined in certain values will not disappear. I was very much involved in the writing of the Philippine Constitution in 1986 and one of the contributions I made together of course with others was to put into, into our Constitution that the family is the foundation of society and that marriage is an inviolable institution. I think there are very few constitutions in the world that make those statements. The idea of breaking the marriage bond is not only immoral from the standpoint of natural law, but it also results in a lot of social evils which actually has been demonstrated by research after research in countries where there is divorce. They show that divorce leads to children who grow up many times not knowing their fathers or are troubled uh, mentally because of the instability of uh, their upbringing. And so this is not just a moral issue. This has a lot to do with the way divorce impacts on society, even economically, when many times because of the way these children you know, drop out of school or are mentally disturbed, the state has to spend billions and billions of dollars in addressing the social problem. So divorce is not just a moral issue. It is a social and economic issue. And more recently, the acceptance of same-sex marriages. Again, since these practices are against the natural law, and when I say against natural law, even Buddhists, Muslims, and not only Christians object to these types of practices. And once again, there are enough research findings in societies where you have these types of practices that show that they lead to a lot of social ills that can cost the government a lot of money to remedy the ills. Like, for example, single mothers, it has been demonstrated in the U.S. that they belong to the poorest segments of society. They're the ones who are very uh, much uh, burdened by economic problems and they have to be subsidized by the government. Rising use of artificial contraceptives leads eventually to higher rates of divorce, higher rates of single mothers, higher rates of troubled teenagers. This were the data that he was able to put together and he just presented it. The name of this person is George Akerlof and he is a Nobel Prize winner in economics. And so I always present that as evidence that promoting contraceptives in the Philippines would lead to disaster. We would have more and more breakup of marriages, more and more single mothers, and more and more young people who are troubled. But definitely abortion is one of the most heinous crimes that can be committed since these are the most defenseless creatures, they do not have any way of defending themselves. And this is one bad value that I hope will never, never enter Philippine soil. Both being moral as well as practical. And uh, this is not just a pious uh, belief. It is a practical advice to every government. If you don't want to spend a lot of money spending on providing for single mothers, you know, making sure that your 
uh, children don't drop out of school or that uh, teenagers uh, do not become drug addicts, which are always problems of the state, then do everything possible to protect the stability of the union between a man and a woman in the stable institution of marriage. We bought in all the leading stores like National Bookstore, Fully Booked, uh, Totus Bookstores, and they may also get in touch with the Office of the Center for Research and Communication. They can always find it in the website and uh, the books also will be available here.